Hello, this is Biblical Tarot, and I'm back with another video. And this video is not a reading, but um, I'm giving you a secret. I'm not going to give all my secrets out, but here and there I will give you a secret that uh, I, I figured out or found out, but it makes sense. Anyways, <laughs> so this secret or tidbit of information maybe help you understand the five of wands a little bit better or just to be a uh, for your information okay the five this is called the five of wands and the first five zodiac the five of wands is called the lord of strife or the power of strife it is saturn and leo Zero degrees to 10 degrees. It's the beginning of Leo. And it's July 22nd to August 1st. The major arcana that it sits under is the strength card, which also represents Leo. So in this scene, the card is said to represent a mock battle, a mock combat, or a mock competition. So... When you look into the card, though, you look deep into the card, you scry it, you realize that these five men or five people, okay, because I don't want to say men, maybe it could be a woman in there, but the five people in the card represent the five zodiac, the five first zodiac of 12 horoscopes of the 12 zodiac. So I'm going to start with the first one on the left and he has yellow the man in yellow that is rushing in is the energy of Aries and Aries is the beginning the rushing in of the energy of the new year for when the zodiac begins again in its circle that it goes into Aries is Aries is running wanting to be the leader it is the leader of, of the beginning, the first sign of the Zodiac. It's like, a, if you look at him, he's like a warrior rushing in, you know, trying to get his place in the Zodiac. The second man who is holding his wand very close on his shoulder, carrying his wand, he signifies a Taurus or Taurus. He signifies Taurus and that's Earth. And the Taurus signifies the bull as the guy in the yellow signified the ram where he's rushing in, you know, what does the ram do? They rush in and they ram each other's heads. But the Taurus, he represents the bull and the bull pulls carts and it pulls things and it does things on the earth they are, the Taurus are stable, stability workers. And as you see, he's looking at Aries, but he's carrying his wand and he's not even in a defensive mode because he's stable. We'll go to the next one. When we look at the third man, you notice that he isn't looking at any of the others because he represents Gemini, which Gemini is air. So he looks up to the air with both of his hands out as if he has two wands, but you can't see it on his other side because it cuts off his hand. Gemini is two. It's the twins. And this guy ain't paying no attention to the others in the battle because, of course, he's in his own damn world. I know for sure because I'm Gemini. <laughs> We're going to go to the fourth man, and the fourth man has his wand held up, but, but it's blocking the one in the middle that we haven't got to yet. It's just a block, though, nothing more, because if you look really, really close at the man with the polka dots, he got the blue polka dots, his left hand is over his heart, representing the zodiac of cancer. And cancers, they want to be loved and want to 
give love. His block is just for safety, but he is doing it out of his heart. As you see, his hand, you can't see his hand, but you can see his arm is up next to his heart if he was to look on the other side of the man in the blue polka dots. As we move to the last man in the blazing red in the middle, he is in the middle with both hands on his wand, swinging with all his might as he represents the mighty lion Leo, ruled by the sun. All the other ones surround themselves. They surround they surround him and he's in the middle, if you can tell. So Leos, they surround themselves with a large social circle, like the man in the card. Leos are protective. They will fight for what they want. They will fight for family. They will fight for friends. They are actually the true leader of the Zodiac as the strength card is over Leo and strength card is Leo. That's the Zodiac that strength card is. And it, and that's the end of this. So I just wanted to, to give you guys that. So you understand the five of wands better in the battle that's going on in the card is nothing but a battle of the horoscopes. I'll show you. We have Aries in the yellow. We have a Taurus next to Aries, like a freaking bull or ox carrying his uh, wand. We got Gemini. He's looking up to the air. <laughs> then the polka dot guy is Cancer. And you can see the Cancer sign right underneath his feet. And the one in the middle of course, is the Leo, which all of them is surrounding. And if you wanted to see, that's a picture of the way the signs go. And we start with Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, and Leo. And that's where it stops. So I just wanted to show you guys that and give that to you because, you know, you've been watching my um, videos and I really appreciate it. And I definitely want you to be where I'm at because, you know, people don't really give real good information to me, but I'm going to give it out as best as I can. The stuff that's not going to go in my book. <laughs> so I'm going to go have a good one and be safe. Love you.